Today I have a super fun spring and a tiny bit of um, Easter home decor haul to share with you today. I'm super excited and um, for me this is really organized because I actually am doing this before I start decorating with everything, which sometimes I forget to do because I get so excited um, to get started with all my new decor that I, it's really hard for me to remember to save it all for a haul before I do it, but I finally did that and I have um, all the spring stuff that I got to share with you today. I found some really cute stuff and I've been seeing spring out for a while in the stores, but it wasn't until just recently that I was kind of like inspired by some of the things and I actually loved things enough to get them. So I'm super excited to share with you what I got today. There's some really cute stuff, including a couple little bunnies. Um, normally I really don't decorate for Easter. I decorate more seasonally um, instead of like for holidays. So like for Christmas, I really just put out like winter decor stuff that will take us over through the whole winter. For fall, same thing, fall. I don't really do it for like Thanksgiving or Christmas necessarily. Um, and I sort of stuck with that this year as well, except for I got a few little bunnies because I love bunnies. I think they're so cute in real life. I would love to have a bunny one day. My husband actually has always wanted a bunny. I think they're so cute. Anyways, um, so I did not break down, but I did kind of like this year branch out and get a few Easter-y things, which I normally don't do, but I feel like also bunnies will, you know, be appropriate for all of springtime because of like all the animals and stuff in the spring. So anyways, I love all the stuff that I found. I think it's super cute and I'm excited to share it with you today and kind of show, share a little bit of my vision of what I'm going to be doing with all the things. I'm hoping to do a couple of decorate with me for spring videos. So um, stay tuned for those. Hopefully they'll be coming out really soon after Today I'm gonna to get started just like putting everything out and I'm really excited about that. I love spring because I love like just everything floral always. That's kind of like what I always love. I love pink, um, all those type of floral tones and flowers and it's obviously especially um, appropriate in the spring and also everyone has a huge selection of like faux florals and all of that stuff during the springtime so it's a perfect time for me to get kind of all the stuff that I love anyways. So I love spring and all the like pastels, um, especially you can find a lot of that stuff around Easter time for Easter decor. And I love all the pastels. So yeah, I'm excited to share everything with you. If you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments. And I will try and link to things if there are things that you can get at the store. Unfortunately, Home Goods, as, as if you've ever shopped there, you know it's like a store where you just get what you get and they're always changing the selection and they don't have an online store yet. Um, so you can't ever really link to exactly what you got at Home Goods, but sometimes you can find the similar uh, similar item in your own Home Goods or TJ Maxx. It just sort of depends on your local store selection. So anyways, the things that I can link, I will link below. And like I said, feel free to ask if you have any questions and let's go ahead and get started um, sharing what I got with you for spring. Okay, so I went a little bit crazy, um, honestly, <laughs> on my on the spring decor. Um, I wasn't necessarily intending to get a ton of stuff at first, but sometimes like um, I change directions as I go along and I see what's in the store. And if I'm feeling especially inspired, then I'll like spend um, my you know little budget of like fun money that I have on seasonal decor instead of like for a house project or organizing project or whatever I kind of just see what's inspiring me at the time and that's sort of like the direction that I spend um, the budget on so uh, I'm gonna try and separate it out by store for you so that it's a little less confusing so I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna try and not do too much detail so it's not to, um, it doesn't take too long. Okay, so first of all, let's start with, um, you'll know if you watch my cleaning essentials haul that I love Mrs. Myers. Um, and I got these at my local grocery store called HEB. That's like a Southern or Texas specific store. I'm not exactly sure, but um, I think it's like a Safeway. No, it's not a Safeway chain. Actually, I lied. Anyways, it's HEB. It's my local grocery store. So they were having a deal on spend a certain amount of Mrs. Myers. I think it was $15, get $3 off. So I got both of these for $12. 
Um, these are both the peony scent. I love the peony scent. My husband likes it too. And I got the candle. Um, they always have candles, but they've definitely branched out recently with the peony scent. So I was really excited about that. So I got the candle and I figured I would put that somewhere um, for spring. Love the scent, love the pink. And I was so excited about this because this is the multi-purpose or multi-surface concentrate in the peony scent and they have never had it before um, in the concentrate. So this is the huge thing that you get to refill all the bottles. It is so much more cost effective if you haven't um, discovered that yet and you like Mrs. Meyers, you have to because you can make like, I don't know, a, so many bottles of cleaning spray from this, which is usually around like $8, eight to $9, I believe, instead of getting the individual spray bottles for like $4 or however much they cost. This is like um, a secret, if you don't know it, that you have to take advantage of because it'll last you so much longer, be so much more cost effective. Anyways, um, I use this to refill all of my bottles of the cleaning spray and I always use it to mop. So I was so excited that they decided it used to be a limited edition scent um, and it doesn't say that anymore. So I think they just made it one of their classic scents because it's so popular. So I was so excited about that and I did all my floors yesterday and I mopped with this and then it made the whole house smell fresh and springish like peonies and flowers. So I love that. I thought I would mention it because it was totally a spring thing and the candle I got specifically for spring. Um, along that same note, I got this at Target, but I got the lavender scent hand soap for our guest bathroom because that's like a nice um, floral or, you know, spring scent. I use lavender all the time, all year round. It's obviously always appropriate, but I was going to put this in the guest bathroom and I think I will show you how I decorate the guest bathroom with a couple little spring touches. So I got that for in there and I also got this little um, lavender and coconut oil lotion to set into that bathroom because I just loved the I love illustrations of florals in general or herbs. I think they're so pretty um, in a decor sense and I got this mainly sort of so I can put it out there on the counter in the guest bathroom and sort of tie in all the spring and um, the lavender from the soap. And I got this though at TJ Maxx. Um, I think that's all I got there in this shopping trip. But yeah, I got that for our guest bathroom. So I'm just gonna put a couple of cute touches in the guest bathroom for spring and I'm excited about that. Okay, so I have so much stuff. I have to figure out where to start. Um, I'm going to start with Target. I think I got it over a couple different trips, but I went to the Target dollar spot. Um, hopefully, I'll try to get this up really soon, by the way, because if you like anything you see, I'm pretty sure all the spring stuff in the Target dollar spot is on its way out because it's been out for a while. Um, so hurry in if you like it and you know, see it and you want it. I think it's almost gone. But anyways, um, I loved the little, little, uh, cream or they're calling it white, but it's like a cream colored bicycle planter that I found there. I thought this was so cute. And I do believe I already have a little faux plant that I can put in here. Um, but I love these tones, just the like creamy and the gold. And I thought that was so cute for spring. I'm gonna try and decorate with that maybe on my um, fireplace area. I'm not quite sure yet, but I got this. This was $7 at the dollar spot. It's a little silly, I think, how they put more expensive things in the dollar spot. But, I mean, it's still cute. And that is just, yes, it's sort of a dollar spot, I guess, but just up to $10. So I think that's kind of funny. Um, these are more Target finds. So then I went back to the Target dollar spot because I saw this um, watering can there a while ago and I both, this is also $7 and I thought that was kind of pricey for both of these items, honestly, but I loved that this was the same colors. They have gray as well, I believe. Um, and I decided to just go ahead and get this because I think I'm going to use these both in the same area and I love that they coordinated with the white and the gold. I'm probably gonna put some faux florals or greenery in here and I just love that it coordinated with my little bicycle. I thought those things were really, really cute and they're pretty nice um, quality. I'm usually kind of impressed by the stuff 
in the dollar spot actually. So these were also in the Target dollar spot. And I have to say, um, the Target dollar spot has really stepped up its faux and Target in general. They have really good faux florals and greenery. I have been extremely impressed. That is something that I'm very picky about. And as you probably know, it can be really hard to get realistic looking faux greenery and florals. And these like look so real. They're just like these little um, picks sort of. I'm not sure what these ones are called. These are just greenery picks, but I felt like they looked so real. These ones were a dollar. I got two of those and then they had some bigger ones. Same thing, same type of greenery. They had a few different options, but this is the one that I got. I thought it looked so real and so springish. Um, and these bigger ones were $3. So I got two of those. And so I was really, really impressed um, by the quality. So need to find some space to put this stuff as I go through that. So that was Target. I'm trying to think of if I had anything else at Target. I don't see anything else right now. Um, so I was really, basically I started off all the spring stuff that started my vision at Home Goods. Um, so this is the stuff that I got at Home Goods. I love Home Goods. I'm really sorry if you don't have one close to you um, because I know it's frustrating to not be able to get what you see if you like it, but I can't help that that's just the place that I find so much stuff that I'm inspired by. Um, so hopefully you have one and you can find similar stuff if you like it. But um, so I put out a bunch of pink stuff and the peony Mrs. Meyer stuff for Valentine's Day. I didn't quite get far enough to like finish it and like share it. Um, so I kind of like started on spring and that kind of stuff with like the pink around Valentine's Day. And I was really feeling this year the kind of hot bright pink which is really kind of branching out for me um of like this color and like the mrs myers color like that was kind of what inspired my theme this year because i'm kind of craving like bright pink um lots of pink and i wanted to kind of have lots of various shades of pink so i was in love with this faux floral arrangement in this nice big thick glass container it has a little fake water in the bottom it's really good quality this was like $17 at home goods and like I said it kind of just inspired my whole color palette I loved that it also has the like blush tone and the little lavender and the sprite pink and the hydrangeas I just think this is really pretty and really nice and I'm gonna put it in our kitchen and it'll tie in with all that Mrs. Meyers peony um, decor. So that kind of inspired my whole color palette for spring. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm trying to not be all over the place as far as like all my decor. I was inspired by a lot of different things that I wanted to get at all, but I kind of try to stay to sort of a central color palette in the type of faux florals that I'm using to where it's kind of not all over the place. Um, so I am sort of sticking with the like soft purples, pinks, um, blush and brighter pink, and maybe some other soft pastels. So I tried not to be all over the place with that so that I could tie it all together. And I found these beautiful hand towels. So I went a little crazy, not a little crazy, but I got two packets of hand towels at Home Goods because they were so pretty. I thought that I really love this like waffle weave of these hand towels. I thought these were so pretty and kind of like vintagey and romantic looking. They have like a little ruffle at the bottom. I've never seen anything like that. And that's totally kind of like the romantic French cottagey style that I normally go um, for. These were like $7. So I got a pack of those of two. I thought they were so pretty. And I got these. I didn't find actually any bunny or floral um, hand towels that I loved and the tones that I was looking for so instead I just got some solids and I thought these were really nice really good quality this um, time and something time and co no time sage this brand they have it there a lot I've seen it there and I'm always really impressed by the quality of the hand towels they seem really nice so I really loved these tones. They were the tones that I was going for in my color palette, like I said, for the spring. So it has a light pink, a white, uh, kind of light lavender, and like a little bit of a darker lavender gray. And I thought those were also pretty and a really good deal for $8, so like $2 each. Once again, it kind of has like a waffle weave. I really liked those. 
Um, so continuing for home goods, trying to keep myself somewhat organized. Um, so this technically, I just thought I would share this anyways. This technically isn't exactly a part of my spring decor haul because I am working on a glam, um, walk-in closet, girly glam closet reveal for you guys, which should be out soon. I'm almost done with it. It's just my closet. We both have walk-in closets now at this house, which was like a dream come true for me because I love being able to have my stuff be pretty and organized. Um, and I got this because it coordinates with a couple of other baskets that I got from Home Goods um, for the top of my shelf. So I will be sharing that with you soon. And I'm super excited because it's so cute and I'm super excited to share. I think that will be a really fun one. But this basket was $13. If you haven't heard me say a hundred times, Home Goods is your best friend for baskets. They have beautiful options and they're extremely affordable compared to other places. And I don't even know exactly what to call this. Um, I feel like it's a water hyacinth or seagrass basket, but this like pattern I thought is so beautiful and I have two others in different shapes of this and I had been looking for a coordinating basket to put on the top of my shelves. And so I loved that this one popped up and I grabbed one, they had two, but they were in slightly different tones of the shades of the basket and that kind of stuff bothers me. So I just got one. Um, okay, so I think that was all from Home Goods. Actually, I'll show you guys this because I can't remember if this was Home Goods or not. I think it was. This is $7 and I loved the little Hello Spring sign. I was looking for a sign or two that were spring specific, not Easter specific, and I thought this one was just perfect. We'll see where we put that. Okay, and last thing from Home Goods, I had been seeing this because I took a couple different trips there in the past couple of weeks and I had been seeing this before and I had my eye on it. It's this beautiful floral and bunny Easter jar. They had it in like a gray tone and this one is the green tone. This one was only $10. Um, there's a tiny chip on the bottom, but I made sure that like it wasn't chipped anywhere else because they had several, but they were chipped. Um, so this thing sort of is protecting it. Um, anyways, I thought this was really beautiful and not too like in your face Easter-ish. Um, and I really love green sort of as a neutral um, for any time of year really, but I thought this would go really good with like the pinks and the other colors that I have. And I'm either gonna use this on in my kitchen um, to hold utensils by the stove or I'm gonna put it on the coffee bar and I have a really fun, fun idea for the coffee bar that I'm gonna share with you guys when we get there. But yeah, um, we'll see where this ends up. Very excited about that vision. Real fast, this is from Costco, just a random thing, but I thought I would include it because it's definitely spring related. So I stock up for my groceries at Costco and they had a bunch of spring bulbs and trees and stuff um, this time around and I got this packet of five ferns. Um, I'm assuming this is like bulbs. Um, it was only $12 and I felt like that, we'll see, I've never grown um, something like that from like a bulb before. So, and I'm a very novice gardener in general. <laughs> so we'll see how it works. Um, I've definitely just been experimenting the past couple years and I failed with some things and I've succeeded with some things. I have a couple plants that are still alive, um, but we have a very shaded yard and um, I am limited to what I can grow in it as far as like florals and things like that, which is kind of a bummer, but we love our trees. So ferns are something that will grow in shade. So, and I think they're really beautiful. Um, I actually don't know which kind these are. I know there's a bunch of different types of ferns, but anyways, um, I got these. I thought that was a great deal. That's obviously very affordable for a fern, um, if you know anything about that. And to get five for about the price that I would say at least, it's at least that price for one. Um, at the store already grown. I figured like I'll give it a shot and hopefully I can get a bunch of different ferns out of that We will see how that goes. Wish me luck huh. um, Okay, so Next I am going to share with you what I got at Pier 1 you guys 
they had some really, really cute Easter stuff at Pier 1, and I had seen it before, um, and I thought it was so pretty, but Pier 1, in general, I find to be very expensive for what you get. It is good quality, it seems like, but it's just, to me, feels a little bit overpriced, but there's bring mostly Easter actually stuff is so cute this year if you're interested in like decorating for Easter you should totally check it out and I had seen stuff there and I went back because look at these beautiful pastel glitter eggs these are like vase fillers or scatter eggs they are so pretty I took a picture of them um, and kept them in mind um, from a past trip that I did there and I decided to go back and get them because I have this really cute idea, which I will share with you guys um, in a second. But anyways, they have like light pink. I just thought they were so pretty. I love the colors, this light green color and this light purpley gray color, exactly the type of tones that I love. And this thing was $10, but I think everything there was 25% off Easter. So, um, I'm going to show you what else I got there and then share with you the vision that I have for my coffee bar. So I got those, like I said, had them in my mind, went back to get them, sometimes I do that. And I got these beautiful pink champagne candles. They smell really nice. And I love the just light blush tone and I'm definitely having lots of accents of, out, of that out around this time of year. I love that tone in general. Blush is one of my favorite colors to decorate with and do anything with where I love blush. It is so pretty to me and I kind of consider it a neutral. So anyways, I got two of these, um, like I said, pricier there, but they were $10 each and I just really had the vision for them. So we'll see um, how they play into my decor. $10, $10 each and I got them for 25% off, like I said. So got those and was that everything I got at Pier 1? No, it was not. Hold on one second. It is under my camera. <laughs> okay. So I also got this placemat from there. It is just, um, like I said, just a placemat. It's in a blush tone. I thought it was very pretty. Kind of reminds me of Little Girl's Easter hat actually, but I only got one. Um, I considered actually getting enough to do like a four place tablescape, um, but I decided not to. But anyways, I got just this one to tie in that same blush tone um, from the candles and I figured I might use it as like maybe just a piece of decor on a table or something and then see what I can layer on top of it. So we'll see if I use that or not. I thought the color was extremely pretty and I think that is all I got from Pier 1. Um, okay, so I'm gonna share with you guys the super cute idea I have for a coffee bar. So I have a little coffee bar that sometimes I decorate seasonally and um, I actually think, so there's a tiered tray on there and I'm gonna decorate it. I think I'm gonna do it as a decorate with me video, so stay tuned for that. But um, with all the like Easter decor everywhere, I had this idea of doing a Peter Rabbit themed tiered tray on the coffee bar and I thought that was such a cute idea. I'm so excited about it and I got a bunch of ideas from Pinterest. Um, so anyways, I definitely needed an actual Peter Rabbit <laughs> for it. So I got this little guy off of Amazon. I think he is so cute. He was only $10. Um, there was another one I really wanted but he was twice the price. He was like running and he had this cute little bunny butt. The butts. Tails of bunnies, obviously always the cutest part. But anyways, I thought this guy was really sweet. He's by the brand Gund, and they have lots of Peter Rabbits. But anyways, I'm gonna have this fun little theme tiered tray on my coffee bar. I, I have like a, a good vision in my head for it, so I hope I can kind of create what I have in my head. I'm super excited to do that and hopefully share that with you guys. And um, I already have a little, tiny little children's book Peter Rabbit. It's like a light green color and it's almost this exact color right here in the eggs. So I thought that would perfectly tie that in. I'm going to set that on that tear tray as well. We'll see how it turns out and the vision, like I said, in my head. So I'm really excited about that. Um, which brings me to Kirkland's and Kirkland's had a bunch of florals that were really pretty. And I grabbed this little pick that is a kale. 
I thought that would be so cute on the Peter Rabbit tiered tray. It's kind of like, I mean, I picture, I think he gets into cabbage and carrots, but how perfect is that? I'm totally gonna set that on there. And I was so excited to find that. This was just $4 on sale, I think. Almost everything I got was on sale. Um, and the other thing that I got at Kirkland's at their flower bar, they call it, were these really pretty um, faux tulips. Tulips in general look really realistic when they're faux. I think, I feel like it's a flower that you can kind of get away with making it a fake version of it. And if you do it right, it looks really good. So I thought these looked really good, really realistic. And to the touch, they're very realistic. They're kind of like a foamy type of thing. I don't know exactly what they are, but I thought these were really pretty in that purple tone. That will help me tie in my whole color palette. These were $11, um, kind of pricey, but definitely on sale. And I think I had an additional coupon. It was at least 25% off. And you get five for that price. So I thought that was a good deal. Very good quality, realistic looking. Um, I think that is all I got at Kirkland's. And I am gonna show you some of the more faux greenery I got. So at Joanne, I didn't end up getting a wreath and I was kind of bummed about that. I had this wreath at Joanne's that I really liked online, but I'm glad that I went to go see it in person because I didn't actually like the color of the pink in person. Um, I felt like it looked much more purpley than pink and I definitely needed something that would tie in all the colors. So I didn't ever find a spring wreath that I loved. Maybe I can find one in like April or something, um, but I just decided to wait till I find something I really love. Wreaths are quite an investment, I feel like, um, and I want them to be like something I love. Um, but while I was at Joann's, I got these little branches uh, or, or picks or whatever you call them, stems of these leaves. Once again, look really realistic. I have this centerpiece on our dining room table that I'm trying to find the right greenery and faux florals for, and I felt like the shape might work for what I'm trying to create over there, so we'll see if that works. And while I was there, was it there or was it at Michael's? Okay, no. So the other ones are all Michael's. Although, honorable mention real fast. I brought at Target, I got these pastel colored Hershey's Kisses. I thought these would be, I love all the colors in the wrappers in the pastels and I thought these would be really cute to put in a little candy jar on the tiered tray on the coffee bar. So we got those and everything else I believe is from Michaels. So this is the last trip that I made and I got three of these um, spring faux floral rose stems. I thought these were really pretty. I wish they were a tiny bit more cream than the white they are, but I really loved the look of them and I am working, like I said, oh no, that leaf is kind of ruined, that's okay. Um, I'm working on a centerpiece on our dining room table and I thought that these would probably work really well in it. So I got three of these. Um, their faux roses usually look really good at Michael's. And I got these as well from Michael's. These were $10, the other ones were like $8. Once again on sale, I think 40% off or something like that. I got these, I am not sure yet if I'm going to use them, um, but they are some big fluffy fake roses, pink from Michael's. I thought they were pretty and I may or may not use them in an arrangement or on my mantle or we'll see. Where else? But I got two of these and I thought they were pretty. And like I said, they do a good job with their faux roses as at Michael's. So this last time I went to Michael's, I got a couple things that I thought were so cute. Um, this little egg, like planted egg full of a couple just sweet little tulips. I got, and you guys, if you know what this is, you'll have to let me know. It has this little like thing on top. I don't get it. It's just like a little wire sticking out of it. It's technically called tabletop decor. <laughs> I don't know why that's there, but I think I'm gonna bend it or try and take it out. I'm not sure. Anyways, I thought this would be a perfect 
mini size to fit somewhere on my tiered tray in the little garden theme with the Peter Rabbit thing going on. So I got those. That was $6 on sale once again. And I got this cute little moss bunny rabbit. I thought he was so sweet. May or may not go on the tiered tray like I um, have been talking about or might go somewhere else, $7 on sale. I thought he was really sweet. Good quality, it's not like falling off or anything. The little moss, foam moss. And I had been looking for something carrot related for the um, Peter Rabbit theme. So I loved these, kind of the perfect size and these little fake um, carrots from Michaels. These were $6 on sale. I thought they were so cute, so perfect. They're like wrapped in um, I don't know, twine or yarn or something, and I'm either gonna just have them out loose or put them in a little, um, like apothecary jar on the coffee bar tray. Just two more things left, and I got this cute little cottontail confectionery Easter sign that is gonna go above the coffee bar on this little space that I have for like a seasonal accent on the wall above it. I thought that was really cute and that's totally gonna tie into the Peter Rabbit theme that I'm working on. And the very last thing I got is this sweet little bunny. He's so cute. There's a girl and a boy bunny, once again from Michaels. This guy was $20 and I have a full price but on sale. So I got him for more like um, like half off that or 40% off and then I had an additional like 20 or 25% coupon. So everything was a really great deal at Michaels. I have had my eye on this little guy for at least the past two or three years. I always see him and the little girl bunny at Michael's and I'm always like, oh, it's so cute. I want it so bad, but it never like works out. And I, it's like, I always catch it when it's on full price and I don't have a good coupon. So I finally was able to land this little guy who I just love and I might put him on our fireplace. Um, we'll see where he ends up, maybe the entryway table, but I thought he was just so cute in his sweet little tie, his little floppy ears that you can bend. I think that's really cool and I picked through all of them and tried to get the best one that his whiskers were the least messed up, but you can't really bend those. They just go wherever they want to, and then he has a little like bean bag butt where he can sit straight on a surface, and I tried to find one that definitely sat straight and didn't wobble over. Um, I know my cat is probably going to terrorize this poor little guy and knock him off wherever he is, but I'll just pick him up and put him back. But anyways, I loved this little guy, and it was like such a such a cute little Victoria shopping trip that I ended with there at Michael's because like I said, I've wanted him for so long. So I wanted to get a sister too, but I don't wanna to go too crazy. So anyways, um, this is my last little guy. I just love him. So I that is all I got. Um, I'm super excited to get everything started. Um, decorating the house with all of it. I think it's so cute and I have like a picture in my head of how I want everything to be so hopefully I can kind of get that after some tweaking to where the vision I have in my head is. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. That is all the stuff I got. Um, I feel like I went through it pretty fast so I'm proud of myself but it, it feels like a lot to me and like I said, I got a little bit more than I anticipated because I was finally feeling like inspired and had a vision of what I could do with all of it and I'm gonna be able to leave almost all of it out throughout all of spring. Um, also, the way that I decorate is very like passion driven and I feel more seasons than others and summer, to be honest, is not a season that like any of the decor speaks to me so I'm probably gonna keep a lot of this stuff up it, honestly until I'm ready to decorate for fall because I love the beach. My husband and I love the beach. We used to live in Florida and went to the beach all the time. It was so nice, but I don't actually love to decorate with anything beach related because I feel like that's a very specific look and I don't really have that look at all in our house. Um, so all of the like summer stuff is usually kind of more like beach or jungle or things that I'm not really like passionate about decorating with so we'll see maybe i'll get a few touches for summer but for the most part i feel like this is gonna like take us over straight through fall and then during the summer i'll probably just work on some other household projects and organizing and stuff like that so anyways um i love all the stuff i got hopefully it will come together nicely and i can show all you guys when it's all done and hopefully have a little decorate with me um 
while I'm getting it all situated. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and it inspired you to go out and get some spring stuff if you haven't already. Let me know if you do decorate for seasons or um, holidays. I'm always curious how people do different things. Um, I know the Easter stuff always looks so cute, but I'm always just kind of like, ah, I don't know. So anyways, this year I kind of am incorporating a little bit of the Easter stuff and I love what I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope um, you are inspired for spring and looking forward to some spring weather. And I will see you guys in my next video. Please subscribe um, if you haven't already, if you're interested in home decor and organization videos. And thanks as always for stopping by. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.